friends, welcome to Junk Journal January, hosted by Meg Journals in collaboration with Get Messy Art. Well, today is day 10 and the prompt is layered. And I was pretty excited about that because that's something I am working on. I, I do do a lot of layers, but then sometimes when I'm creating, I sort of forget to do layers. So it's wonderful that it's a prompt. As you guys know, I'm working with book pages. I'm trying to whittle away quite a few of those. So I'm going to go ahead and use a book page as my first layer. And it's going to go on top of this magazine page that looks like leopard print. I've grabbed another one of my large stencils because that's another thing I want to work on this year is using my stencils and stamps. So I've got this purple ink and I'll tell you what, I was a little disappointed by this because the ink pad's almost brand new and it's practically dried out. It's so weird. Anyway, I might just add a dab of water to it and that will probably do the job. But for right now, I'm sticking to it. I want to get this. Uh, sort of purpley pinky ink on here uh, for the flowers. You can see the cage, the bird cage, and there's some florals there. I'm going to use this tealish bluish color for the actual bird cage. And I've grabbed the green again so that I can fill in the leaves with the green color. Now I'm grabbing my brown ink and I'm going to use that for the tree branches. Remember the little flowers around the birdcage? You can see them, they're in like a pinkish color. And there are actually leaves there too. So I'm grabbing the green ink and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just get a little bit of green on the leafy parts. So far, we have two layers. We have the book page, and then we have our stenciling. Now for our third layer, I want to go ahead and use some trim. I've grabbed my hot glue gun, and I'm just putting that down on the page where I want to put this trim on. And you can see that the color of the trim goes really well with the bird cage. Now for our fourth layer, I'm going to go ahead and add some of these sparkly gems. I do have this glue, it's called Gem Tack. Personally, I think it works really, really well. So I do recommend it. I have not had any problems with my gems coming undone. And prior to my discovering this stuff, I did have problems with that. So if you're looking for something that holds your gems or even your buttons down, anything with a shiny surface, this does seem to work really nicely. Everywhere that I put a drop of glue, I'm gonna go ahead and put a sparkly gem on there. I feel like the cage itself is missing a little bit of sparkle. So once I'm done getting the, the rest of these on here where they belong, I wanna go ahead and put three on the cage just right down the center and right on top of the trim that I had added. I've decided that I want to add some trim to this page and I keep all of my trim in jars. Well, I keep my scrap trim in jars. So I've grabbed the jar and I found a really pretty piece, the perfect color that I think will finish off this page perfectly. I feel like the upper right hand corner could use just a little something. It sort of just looks a little bit lonely. So I have this bow and I'm going to pop that up there and it's just a little touch of detail. I've got this book page and it's one of the plain parts of it. I've torn that. I've been doing that lately in this journal and I'm going to go ahead and put the prompt and the day on here. Friends, let me know if you are participating in Junk Journal January so I can go check out your video. I really appreciate you spending time here. I've got Meg Journals and Get Messy Art linked in my description box, as well as my friend Pam Van E. Thank you again, Pam, for the green ink. I had a lot of fun using it in these past couple of spreads. Well, thanks for watching. See you soon.